Have you ever asked yourself how to unwrap and texture bake multiple different objects or even whole scenes into one bitmap and input it later in your real-time engine or mobile application? Well, here is a simple and helpful tutorial that covers all needed steps for your successful production. In this scene we have a bunch of objects, the wooden toy box with wooden alphabet cubes. So we are dealing with multiple objects, here is even a group full of multi-sub-objects and a large grout surface. The whole scene has been already textured and there is a light streak in the scene and when I rendered it, this will be the final result. And my intention is to transfer exactly this look into my real-time engine for a desktop or mobile scene presentation. And here a simple explanation how to achieve it. As first I will select all objects since I want them all to be baked into one single texture map and go to Utilities and click on Flat Iron. Now, as you can see in this tutorial, we are dealing with mostly hard surface geometries and therefore we will choose the appropriate unwrapping method and it's called Hard Surface. In our next tutorial here in YouTube channel, you can see how to deal with scenes consisting of organic or mixed forms. The first is the most essential step and it is to define the UV channel where we will store all our unwrapping data. If we now select all our objects and unwrap them into the UV channel 1, we will effectively overwrite the current UVs of the box and the letter cubes. And this is what we don't want, we need them intact. Therefore I will enter an unused higher UV channel, like for example UV channel 4, because I know this UV channel was not used on any of these objects. All selected objects will be now unwrapped and packed into one new single UV map. And this is actually a fantastic thing about the workflow in Flatiron. We have created with just one click a new UV set containing all UVs from all selected objects in the scene, while preserving all other UV channels already existing in the scene. We have agreed at the beginning that we want to bake the final render result into a bitmap. This means we need to bake all lights, shadows and GIs into one texture. Therefore we will use complete map render output. If you are using V-Ray, you will need V-Ray complete map or if you are using Corona, you will use Corona complete map or uh, Redshift complete map in case you are using Redshift and so on and so on. Please consult the manuals of your renderer for more details. That is actually everything. You have now to press the button bake and depending on the scene complexity you have now time to check your emails in the background or drink a cup of tea. And this is the final result, the bake texture of our complete scene. Let us first examine our work. Where is the final bake texture? It is here, in the shell material. Flat iron bakes texture by default into the shell material, which is a very powerful layered material optimized for texture baking. Why? Well, simply because it's non-destructive. It is capable of keeping both the original material and the bake material as two layers in one material, which you can turn on and off. Please keep in mind that the shell materials is very effective in uh, 3D Studio Max, but it cannot be exported into the real-time engines like Unreal or Unity. We have in our case successfully finished our work and therefore we don't need the original material anymore. I will now replace all shell materials in the scene with the newly baked uh, final material by clicking on Keep Baked and Clear Shells. Each object in the scene has now one standard material and in it a baked texture map. If we would continue to work in 3ds Max, we could leave it as it is. But as you know, real-time engines like a certain order. They expect UVs for image maps to be in UV channel 1, 2 or in the worst case in UV channel 3. You see, the UV map is now in channel 4, just as we unwrapped and baked it and it is assigned to the object internal UV channel 4. The map and the object are perfectly synchronized. Let us now shift both of them from the UV channel 4 to UV channel 1. 
we have made this tool to our freeware Mac script and you can download it from the link below. Select all objects you want to shift UVs. Don't forget to select them, otherwise the tool won't perform anything. Select copy from 4 to 1 and press OK. Instantly all your image map UVs and all your object UVs in the scene were shifted from 4 to 1. We are done here. Let's now export it as FBX into Unity or Unreal Engine. I will use Unreal for this tutorial, I think the procedure is the same for any other real-time engine. I will import now the FBX object and position it. I will now open the material editor, locate the material and convert it in this case from default lit to unlit. Why? Because we have already baked all lights and shadows into the bitmap. We don't need lights from the scene. Our object contains only the information. And by the way, the default lit is one of the fastest shaders. And you see now the result of our texture baking work. It looks exactly like the rendered image, but runs in real time and uses only one bitmap for all objects. It is a massive resources and speed saving. In this tutorial we have learned how to texture bake a whole scene into one bitmap and export it in a real-time engine while preserving the render quality log. In the next tutorials we will expand our techniques and knowledge and learn many unique tips and tricks about texture baking. Thank you for your attention and if you would like to learn more about our products and production workflows please visit 3d-plugin.com or texturebaking.com.